30 families in the Opana neighborhood of the Beit El settlement are petitioning the planned demolition of their homes, claiming the buildings were legally bought. The petitioners, a few of them New Olim, say they have lived in their neighborhood for years, but have only recently learned that their homes are under the threat of demolition by April. I was in Milouim when uh, Michal called me up, fairly hysterical, tell, telling me that our house is going to be knocked down and we'll be kicked out. Um, I told her that she's crazy because everything here is legal and we haven't heard anything from anybody um, otherwise. No one's told us that we have to be out of here. We've just heard through the grapevine. Um, Baruch and Michal Kitai, who are both immigrants from Australia, bought their home two years ago just after getting married. They claim they were unaware that the human rights organization, Yeshtin, had already filed a petition with the High Court of Justice for the demolition of their house, claiming it was built on Palestinian land. We, everything we've done has been legal. All the documents um, have all been done as law-abiding citizens would do them. Um, and for people that, that are spending our lives through, whether through the army or whether through the shlichot we're going to be doing, um, for the sake of Israel and to um, represent Israel and to represent Aliyah to Jews abroad is a bit of a um, slap in the face from um, the people who we try to represent. Only a few months ago, the residents learned from news reports that the government had agreed to demolish their homes. But according to Samuel Panar residents, the government had given them grants to buy these homes 11 years ago. And Didi Dickstein specifically remembers Benjamin Netanyahu promising to build their neighborhood during his first term as prime minister. וראש הממשלה, כשהיה פה מתחת לגבעה, שם בית הקברות, הבטיח, הצביע על ההר, וככה אמר פה, על ההר הזה תיבנה שכונה והיא לא תרד. זה היה כאילו בעקבות הרצח שאנחנו ממשיכים להיבנות פה.